Welcome in, people. Welcome in. Check this out. Ballistic gel. Much better than the last time I did it. Perfect stuff. Cheap. Very easy to make. Less than half an hour. £20 in money. But how do we make it? For that exact block, you're going to need 10 of these. Now, we're using these because all the videos you guys have, 90% of the videos you guys have, all use Knox Gelatin, which seems to be pretty good. We can't get it in the UK. Uh, we can, but only on eBay. It costs a fortune to get it um, imported from America. So, UK, this stuff. Dr. Oak. This stuff. Anyway, now each one of these packs come with eight, eight leaves inside them. Very strange things as well. Look at this. That's eight there. So we're going to use two full packs per pint of water. So that's 16 of these per pint. This palm we're getting three pints in. Should just fit. Whoa. Excellent. And it's fine to have it that high up in the pan because we're not actually going to boil the water. And two in this one. Oh, excellent. Five pints between the two. Could go on. We want medium heat, so I'm going to put on three out of six for both of them. Now, in the instructions, it does tell you to separate these sheets, put them in cold water for five minutes, then take them out and put them in the water you're going to boil. Logically, I'm thinking, why can't I just put it straight in the water I want to boil, not boil, cook in. But I follow the instructions. So I'm going to put these in two tubs of water. Now, these are a bit fiddly. They're so thin. They're a bit fiddly to separate some of them. There, see Bit of a pain but make sure you do it the last time i did this i just got the clump of eight dropped it in the pan to heat up and then it didn't mix in very well it took us twice as long to mix it so we're going to separate all of these two, 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 two three four five six seven okay that's four packets put in there six packs in the big tub now See these ones, they're all going soft already. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, you can see the difference. So another minute for these ones. I think I'm going to turn these up as well. Do four out of six. Live dangerously. Yeah, I mean, if I check that, that water's still cold. And I have been putting, taking it from the cold water and putting it in there, so don't see any reason why you can't just put them straight in there. But I haven't done that yet, just in case it makes a difference. Uh, it's been a good five minutes for them. Uh, very nice. Starting to warm up nicely. Okay, that's that one done. We'll give that a mix in a minute. Okay, we're gonna let the water heat up a little bit. Let them just start falling apart nicely. And then, and we do have a proper mixer, but I'm sure we do the man way. You know what? I'm going to recommend using bigger pans. All coming apart nicely. To be fair, this is only my fifth time making it. But you've seen the results. It's good. Give that a few more moments. Then we shall drill, drill. They're both about overflow. Use a bigger pan. There's bigger pans there, but 
I'll get killed if I use them. Nope, nope, nope. Slow down. Obviously, make sure you get right into the corners. Don't want any little bits getting away from you. Just sticking to the bottom. This is about it for 15 minutes or so now. Gently stir it with the spoon. Keep mixing it with the drill to make sure there's no, no bits of clumped together and hiding somewhere. There's no clump sticking to that in either pan. So it's probably ready to do. I'm going to give it another five minutes. Well, then I think we're ready to pour. It's basically just like thick yellowy water. Whoop. Oh, I don't want to put too much in. I want this to be nicely at the top there. No, I think I'm going to put it about there. Don't want to go past the lip in this, you see. Look at that. That is beautiful. That is clear. Oh, I see it's clear as I show you some dirt. Now, refrigerate it. <laughs> I'm going to leave it in there for about 24 hours. Some people only do it for about 12. I'm doing it for 24. And if I look at this phone now, how long I've actually been recording for is 26 minutes. Now these things on Amazon, they cost six pound for three packets. It's, it comes in a pack of three for six pound. So if you work it out, I used, I used 10 packets, basically two pound each packet. I used 10 packets, 20 pound. So I've used 25 minutes of my time, 20 pound in money. And then wait 24 hours. Let's see what happens. ta -da! It's been 24 hours. Do, do, do. All right then. Do, do, do. Yeah, now ignore all these little black bits. That was actually fluff that was on my head that I didn't realize yesterday. I'll come and get it out of the tub. Okay, now as I said, this is the first time I've made it with this consistency. Hey. I'm just as new as you guys are at this. Just cut down the side. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, see the box coming loose. There we go. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, 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 look at that. What are we thinking? And there we have it. Beautiful. It's nine inches by about six inches. And this block is. It's for twenty pound in money. Five pints of water. And it's very safe proof. I'm gonna shoot it a couple of times in a minute, just to test it. But not too much. I need to use that for some videos coming up. Now, like I've said, the knock stuff that everyone seems to have, um, most people seem to advise using it's too difficult to get in the UK. So it was Keith, um, who is Essex Air Gunner on here, who showed me this is the stuff to use. So thank you very much. I've made this with 16 leaves per one pint. The last one I made was eight per one pint. And then the one before that was only added five per one pint. And each time they've all looked the same. They've all been just as clear, just to see through. So. If you're using high-end stuff and you need it to be a lot a lot tougher, still the same stuff will do the job. So obviously add more. Per pint of water. Just gonna use this 177. We are going to use GS, some GSB exacts. Let's put a couple of shots in that. Straight in there, look at them beautiful lines. Beautiful, beautiful. And there we go. That's actually quite a powerful pistol as well, so 
Maybe I should have went in further distance. Will I stop air rifles? Obviously, obviously at max distance. I don't know. But like I say, nothing to stop you just upping the ratio, making it even thicker. To work out what's way for your weapons. I feel intelligent. I've just leveled up. I've now got more options for shooting. Thank you very much. Goodbye.